I am not your favorite tech YouTuber, but in this video, I will show you what an average you can do. Thank you for coming. In today's meeting, we're going to be discussing uh, the questions some of you might have regarding the NR200 case from Cooler Master, um, the fitting of the RTX 3090 Ventus from MSI, and the airflow configuration inside the case. This is the NR200 uh, that's got the mesh panel, uh, so it's not a glass panel. That's why the Noctua. NHU12A fits here perfectly. Just it it fits uh, a few millimeters out of spec. However, it fits. So this CPU cooler is one of the best on the markets that you can have for this particular case. It's one of the biggest ones, and it gives you best basically performance. So that's why I have this uh, cooler installed. The cooler is forcing the air outwards that way but let's start from the beginning uh, the today's today's task was to install the msi ventus 3x rtx um, 3090 with 24 gigs of vram on board as you know it's a big card you've got all the specs online so you can just double check everything however uh, many videos online say that you will have to dismount the case, loosen up the brackets over here. This is not the case with the Ventus uh, from MSI. It's uh, without loosening up the screws, without uh, flexing the case, it was very easy, surprisingly easy to put this uh, GPU inside. Of course, if you have full size uh, fans at the bottom it will not fit because it's it's taking like two and a half slots more or less so basically you're gonna have to swap these bottom fans for the low profile 15 mil fans as we have over here basically these are the Noctua's 120 millimeter fans so the cabling okay and cable of, uh, management is a separate topic we have a uh, the Ryzen 5950X 16 core 32 thread CPU inside we have the Corsair SFX SF750 uh, PSU power supply and I I reckon this will be enough to power this whole system. We've got two NVMe drives, we've got space for like four or even more uh, SATA SSDs or HDDs. We've got two fans up here which are full size, uh, 120 mil, same as this one, um, fans exhausting the air from the top. So basically these bottom fans are intaking the air from the bottom and keep in mind that this Ventus 3090 uh, GPU is not a pass-through. It doesn't have a uh, pass-through fan blowing hot air inside the case. All the hot air is being exhausted sideways, basically through the fins over here and from the other side. So basically, this is not a this card is not a pass-through radiator design. That's why it's more or less acceptable to have the CPU fan exhaust air to the back rather than other way around. So basically the bottom fans are intaking the air. Uh, these CPU fans are exhausting the air to the back and these two fans at the top are exhausting the air up top. This is basically the setup that I created with this particular uh, case and I'm just going to show you the cable management, hope you like it. The CPU is using 145 watts at the moment, full blast, full utilization. Hey, the GPU went down a bit. 
GPU utilization is 67, 71 on climbing, 83, 69. So running uh, Prime 95 and Fordmark uh, all together basically reduces the GPU um, utilization. We're maxing out the 64 gigs of RAM. We're maxing out the GPU at the moment. We're maxing out the CPU. The fans are starting to ramp up. The temperatures on the GPU 70 degrees at the moment, 69. Okay, this is the temperature on the CPU 74 at the moment. One hundred forty-five or oh, three hundred forty-five watts, three hundred forty-six watts used by the GPU. Temperature seventy-one degrees Celsius on the GPU at the moment. Seventy-three. Celsius on the CPU and again the GPU went down a little bit basically it's quiet thank you very much for coming it's much appreciated uh, as a family, we all know that uh, during these meetings we gain a lot of valuable information. If you have any questions, please comment down in the description. Um, hope you like the build and happy, happy thermals. Mm -hmm.